Amidst the tumultuous cadence of contemporary life, humanity frequently discovers itself ensnared within the intricate labyrinthine passages of the rat race. This ceaseless quest for material opulence, often entwined with the relentless scourge of perpetual anxiety and an unquenchable thirst for excess, begets a profound longing for liberation from this fevered vortex. In the lexicon of human thought, the enduring sagacity of Stoicism beckons as a guiding light, a philosophy not concerned with the mere accumulation of riches but with the cultivation of the highest virtues. As the venerable Stoic sage Epictetus once professed, Make the best use of what is in your power, and take the rest as it happens. In these profound words, we uncover the essence of Stoicism's abiding relevance in our contemporary epoch. Stoicism does not proffer an escape from life's tribulations. Rather, it offers a profound realignment of our perspectives and values. It impels us to embrace the intrinsic qualities that define our humanity, entreating us to nurture virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, attributes that stand as bastions against the maelstrom of the rat race. In the ensuing discourse, we embark upon an odyssey guided by the luminaries of Stoic philosophy unveiling six Stoic stratagems for extricating oneself from the relentless pursuit of superficial success. These perennial principles, forged in the crucible of ancient wisdom, equip us with the instruments to dismantle the obstructions of the rat race and to navigate the labyrinth of existence with equanimity and unwavering resolve. Thus, as we plumb the depths of Stoic doctrine, let us heed the counsel of Seneca, who imparted, We suffer more in imagination than in reality and commence our expedition into how Stoicism, focusing not on the external realm but on the inner sanctum of the soul, presents an avenue of escape from the clutches of the rat race. The term rat race eloquently delineates the relentless and competitive modus operandi that many individuals find themselves ensnared within, driven by the prevailing belief that success is synonymous with perpetual toil. It manifests as an interminable whirlwind of labor, suffused with stress and anxiety where the ceaseless pursuit of external validation and material gain obscures life's intrinsic virtues and pleasures. As Seneca, the Stoic luminary, astutely noted, to be everywhere is to be nowhere. This adage finds profound resonance within the context of the rat race, where individuals, in their relentless pursuit of worldly success, often find themselves scattered across various endeavors, forsaking the inner sanctum of introspection and inner peace. The motives behind one's immersion in the rat race are as multifarious as the stars that grace the night sky. For some, it functions as a vehicle for keeping pace with the proverbial Joneses, an endeavor to maintain a facade of societal affluence. Others, fueled by fervent dreams and ambitions, cast themselves headlong into this tumultuous stream, believing that only through incessant striving can their aspirations be realized. Yet there exist those who are driven solely by the imperative of survival, compelled to engage in marathon work hours to meet the rudimentary demands of life itself. Regardless of the impetus that propels one into the heart of the rat race, it is imperative to grasp the profound impact it exerts upon the human condition. Stoicism, the ancient philosophy that extols the virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, beckons us to apprehend the true nature of this relentless pursuit, to discern that which we can control, and to cultivate an enduring sense of inner serenity amidst the tumultuous currents of existence. In a world seemingly fixated on the relentless pursuit of wealth and power, the Stoic philosophers illuminated an alternative path to genuine felicity, one rooted in the cultivation of inner virtue. Within the heart of Stoicism lies the profound conviction that authentic happiness unfurls its petals solely within the precincts of the virtuous soul, where moderation, self-mastery, and purpose intertwine like ancient vines, offering respite from the tumultuous race for external accolades. Epictetus, a luminary among Stoic philosophers, expounded that one of the avenues to liberate oneself from the cacophony of the rat race is to dedicate oneself to personal growth a pilgrimage towards self-discovery and moral refinement. This odyssey necessitates the carving of sanctuaries for introspection and contemplation amidst the ceaseless cacophony of life. It beckons us to forge an unwavering covenant with virtuous living, a promise to tread the path of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. 
Moreover, the Stoic sages would instruct us to scrutinize our social circles, for the company we keep can either bolster or undermine our journey toward inner peace. In the words of Seneca, Associate with those who will make a better man of you. Welcome those whom you yourself can improve. Thus, in the quest for liberation from the rat race, we must assemble a fellowship of kindred spirits, individuals whose values harmonize with our own, who stand as beacons on the path of virtue, and whose presence is a steady rudder in the tempestuous sea of ambition. In the same vein, Stoicism teaches the paramount importance of discerning the boundaries of our influence. Echoing the wisdom of Epictetus, we are reminded to concentrate our energies on the realm we can control, gracefully relinquishing the futile grip on circumstances beyond our sway. This doctrine prompts us to embrace the present moment as a sanctuary of peace, rather than frittering away our thoughts on the capricious future or the irretrievable past. Ultimately, the Stoic Creed underscores that genuine happiness is an internal alchemy, immune to the fleeting charms of external allurements. The words of Marcus Aurelius resonate in this context. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Thus, to unearth the fount of true contentment, we must engage in the noble task of self-examination and the cultivation of inner virtue, recognizing that the ephemeral trappings of wealth, possessions, and power are but fleeting illusions on the path to enduring fulfillment. In a world perpetually adrift amidst the tumultuous currents of uncertainty, it is a salient reminder that the realm of our influence, though limited, remains under our sovereign command. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus wisely posited, some things are within our power, while others are not. In navigating the capricious tides of existence, one must first recognize the profound dichotomy of control delineated by Stoicism. While the vicissitudes of fate may conspire to orchestrate events beyond our purview, the locus of our agency resides in the artful domain of our responses. This is where the Stoic ethos assumes its mantle of profound significance. In the ensuing discourse, we shall embark upon an exploration of seven Stoic strategies, each as venerable as the philosophy itself, designed to sharpen our focus upon the terrain of the controllable, a potent compass to guide our emancipation from the relentless grip of the rat race. As the Stoic sage Seneca pointedly noted, we are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more in imagination than in reality. These Stoic strategies beckon us to grapple with the specter of the unknown not through futile resistance, but through the mastery of our inner fortitude. The Stoic luminaries held the conviction that adversities and trials, rather than being malevolent forces, bore the potential for profound personal transformation. They posited that confronting these tribulations with unwavering resolve constituted a crucible wherein the raw ore of character could be transmuted into the finest steel. In consonance with this perspective, the sage Seneca articulated, Difficulty strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. This insight captures the essence of Stoicism's stance on life's challenges, namely, that these trials act as forged fires, tempering the metal of the soul. Epictetus, too, echoed this sentiment when he declared, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. To the Stoic mind, adversity was not to be recoiled from but embraced as a willing tutor. It was in the crucible of hardship that the Stoic found the opportunity for moral and intellectual refinement, for, as Marcus Aurelius observed, the obstacle in the path becomes the path. Therefore, the Stoic belief in adversity as a catalyst for personal growth beckons us to face life's trials with fortitude, recognizing them not as impediments to our progress but as stepping stones towards becoming nobler and more resilient individuals. There's no question that the rat race can be grueling. The constant competition, the pressure to succeed, the never-ending cycle of working and grinding and struggling, it can all be incredibly wearying. But it doesn't have to be this way. If you're feeling trapped by the rat race, it might be time to take a step back and reevaluate your values and priorities. One of the best things you can do is to ask yourself what's truly important to you. What are your deepest values and priorities? When you're clear about what matters most to you, it's easier to let go of the things that don't align with your values. For example, 
if you value family and relationships over success and achievement, you might be able to let go of some of the pressures you feel to succeed professionally. It's also important to remember that your values and priorities can change over time. What mattered to you in your 20s might not be as important to you in your 30s or 40s. As you move through life, take time to check in with yourself and make sure your values are still aligned with your current lifestyle and goals. Finally, don't be afraid to let go of things that are no longer serving you. If you're not happy with your current situation, make a change. Life is too short to stay stuck in a rut. If you're not fulfilled by your job, find a new one. If you're not happy in your relationship, end it. Make space in your life for the things that truly matter to you. There's no single formula for escaping the rat race. But by taking the time to reevaluate your values and priorities, you can start to create a life that's more aligned with your true self. The enigmatic quest for a life imbued with meaning and virtue eludes facile definition, as it is as diverse as the human spirit itself. Yet, within the hallowed annals of ancient philosophy, the Stoics emerge as venerable guides, illuminating a path to this elusive ideal. Their teachings, steeped in sagacity and fortified by centuries of contemplation, furnish a tapestry upon which we may delineate the contours of a life rich in virtue and purpose. In the words of Epictetus, that stoic paragon of equanimity, freedom is secured not by the fulfilling of men's desires, but by the removal of desire. Within this aphorism lies the stoic prescription for a life virtuously led, a life unburdened by the capricious cravings of the ego. The Stoics, ever champions of inner fortitude, exhort us to prioritize not the ephemeral desires of the flesh, but the enduring virtues that elevate the human spirit. Thus, the question of what constitutes a meaningful and virtuous life becomes less an inquiry into the external trappings of success and more a voyage into the fertile terrain of self-mastery. In the following discourse, we shall navigate the Stoic labyrinth, drawing upon the wisdom of these ancient philosophers to unearth the treasures of a life well lived. For, as Seneca wisely observed, he who is brave is free, and it is in the cultivation of stoic virtues that we find the compass to chart our course toward the shores of a life suffused with meaning and virtue. In the quest to liberate oneself from the relentless clutches of the rat race, myriad strategies beckon, Yet, none so potent and profound as those rooted in the ageless wisdom of Stoicism. This venerable philosophy imparts upon us the profound art of discerning our dominion, detaching from that which lies beyond it, and harmonizing our existence with the immutable order of nature. To echo the sagacious words of Epictetus, There is only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. In the labyrinthine maze of contemporary existence, Stoicism serves as a guiding star, illuminating a path toward authentic emancipation from the toilsome bonds of the rat race. Its precepts, ancient yet timeless, beckon us to heed the admonition of Seneca, who declared, We are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more in imagination than in reality. By adhering to these Stoic tenets, we unearth the keys to genuine liberation, liberation from the ceaseless tumult, and gnawing anxiety that plague the denizens of the rat race. Through the cultivation of these principles in our daily lives, we attain the cherished boon of true freedom, a freedom not contingent on external circumstances, but rather the serene sovereignty of the soul.